hi, I'm Sosie Bacon and I play Rose Cotter in Smile. It's psychological. I think what it does so well is following this one person's story through their eyes and their point of view. Um, and it's absolutely scary, like all horror movies should be. There's jump scares. It was really hard for me to like figure out what, because you know, the lead is always the one that you have the most information about, but also at the same time, like the least. Um, and so it was tough and I, you know, I tried, I, I did everything that I always do, but I don't know that anything can really truly prepare you for an experience like that, which like with like such heightened emotion for such a sustained amount of time. Not knowing what is your reality and what's everybody else's real? I mean, that is everyone's kind of worst fear, isn't it? Like being a person that thinks something that n nobody else thinks and trying to convince people of it. Hell. <laughs> it's a fun horror ride. It's also a really intense horror ride. It looks really beautiful and cool and different and like visually, I think people will just get really into it. Particularly if you're kind of a movie buff or a horror buff. Once you get on a movie set, most of the time things just start going away because you don't have time. Everything takes longer than you think it is. And like, amazingly, he wouldn't, he didn't cut shots and stuff like that. And like, that's the reason why the movie looks like that because, you know, he fought for those shots um, and he fought for those moments and fought to take the time with the private moments. When you see something that is absolutely the opposite of what it normally is, like, a smile being absolutely deranged and terrifying. It sticks with you, like it, it sticks with you past when you leave. I think that people are constantly going through life kind of covering up emotional pain with social niceties in life. And um, kind of that's a perfect description for like maybe what Rose has been doing up into this point and what she like finds she cannot do anymore. The dead eyes, for sure the dead eyes. Everybody kind of had that in spades, like knew that that was it. I don't know what makes it, I, I don't know if that much is different about it. I mean, a smile just based on context and who the person is and whether or not they're being real and authentic or they're faking or, I think that smiles are always about context. The pain chart in, in the movie, is a brilliant idea and it worked brilliantly. It shows up kind of everywhere and it's so iconic, but like you never think about it. The more time I've gotten away from it, the more I really like started to love it because it's mostly that scale that you see in every doctor's office is like for kids because they couldn't, you know, speak about their pain the way that adults could. What I was thinking in the scene was like, this scale could never tell me like I'm so off the charts of how much pain I'm in right now, like emotionally that like, you don't have a scale for that, you know what I mean?